keep it real with ya. Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope that everyone's having a great and blessed day on today. And in today's video, I'm going to be discussing how I did this beautiful flexi rod set. I love it. Love it. Love it. You can look. Mm -hmm. I know you're looking. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this video is going to be a little different because um, I felt like the original video was way too long. So, to decrease time, um, because I really got, because I know a lot of people, this was a highly requested video, number one. And a lot of people have been um, messaging me, um, telling me how they want to do a successful flexi rod set because the flexi rod sets that they used to do in the past and stuff like that um, didn't come out as well. So when I'm doing the set, it's um, it's a little long, but it's not too long. It, I think it's like around like 15 minutes, but um. The reason why it's long like that is because I want you all to see um, how to do a successful flexi rod set. And it's easy. It's easy. I made it easy for you all because I know there's a hot, lot of different ways. I know it's the horseshoe method and stuff. I do the twirling method or the wrapping method, but you all will see um, that. But right now I'm just going to be, you know, just talking about the products that I use to wash and condition and deep condition my hair. So everyone knows I use the shampoo, the Head & Shoulders Classic Clean Shampoo. I love this shampoo. It um gets all the product build up from my scalp and my hair and everything like that. My fiance is another one who uses this shampoo as well. Um, He was the one who put me on to this shampoo and it's amazing. I love it. I conditioned and detangled my hair with this. This is the Suave tropical coconut conditioner and I detangled with this wide tooth comb right here and um I got all the tangles and stuff out but I didn't have many tangles in or anything in my hair to be honest with you but it was a good detangle now <laughs> my fiance and I went on a date a couple days ago and we had to make a quick uh store run so we made a quick store run and <laughs> I went into the hair aisle and if there's a store and there's a hair aisle, I'm going to go check it out because um, I like looking at hair products and seeing what's new and um, other things, you know, because sometimes I'm going to try different products and stuff like that. So I check out the, um, the hair aisle and I found my deep conditioner that I've been using. Bam! I found it. It's the Mega Growth Deep Conditioner and it has coconut oil, olive oil in it. I love this deep conditioner. Oh my God. Oh my God. I stocked up on it. I bought like every last one of them that was in that store too. It was only two left and I bought both of them. So um, this is what it looks like. It's thick. And um, just like this one, it has great slip. But this one isn't as thick. Um, has more moisture in it. It's a moisturizing uh, conditioner. Um... And this one, it, uh, I want to say it's like protein based, I'm going to say deep conditioner. And, um, I put it on my, uh, I put it on my hair. Then I put a plastic cap over my head and I sat underneath the dryer for an hour. So when I show you all my hair dryer, it's me about to get in the hair dryer and everything to, uh, you know, deep condition my hair and stuff like that. So, in the next clip, that's what y'all are going to see. So, hey everyone. So, this is the hair dryer that I purchased from Amazon. And again, it was like $115 or $120. Um, and I like this hair dryer a lot because, look, it has a timer on here. It has the degrees on here. Um, you can choose your temperature and stuff like that. And, um, yeah. And I love it also because it rolls right into my closet. It rolls right into, I have a closet in my hallway and it fits right in there. I just roll it right in there because it has the um, the feet, I mean the legs. And, you know, it rolls around and stuff like that. So, yep, I pull the chair up. I sit right under here. I got a TV right here in my living room. So I just watch TV or I'll read a book or something like that while I'm, I'm under here. So what I'm about to do now is um, deep uh, condition my hair underneath the dryer um, for a half hour. And then I'm going to rinse this out and I will show you all the next steps. So I will be right Hello back. everyone. So we're into the next day. I have fell asleep. because As y'all see, I just woke up um, from a nap. Um, and 
Well, actually, um, when I was doing my hair in the beginning, um, that was actually the day before. This is a whole new day. Um, and I had went to sleep. I didn't even notice I had knocked out. By the time I woke up, it was time for classes. Excuse me. So I was like, oh, my God. So I took my classes and everything. I cooked dinner. I knocked out again. <laughs> so now I'm up and I have to do my hair. I have to do my hair. Um, so, yeah. So we're going to get right into the whole flexi rod set. So what I did was I damped my hair a little bit with water. With this, this spray bottle. My close friend Kia bought me this spray bottle and I love it. So I just sprayed just a little bit. Um, I sectioned my hair because it's easier that way for me. And... Um, yeah, so we're just going to get into the flexi rod set. So, for me, I like putting my hair up in um, sections. Okay. So, the products that I'm going to be using are Miel's uh, Twist and Souffle. And Miel's uh, leave-in conditioner. So I'm going to be using these two products. And I'm just going to see how this uh, Flexi Rod is going to turn out. So what I'm going to do is put this in first, the Twist and Souffle. Put that in my hair first. Need a little bit more. This stuff is uh, really thick. It smells amazing. But it's thick. Y'all are going to see me, um, you know, doing like this and stuff like that because, um, you know, little pieces of hair sometimes. But especially after you wash your hair. So I make sure that's all in my hair. And now it's time to put in the leave-in conditioner. So, put that in my hair. Comb through. See, now I have all the product in. Now I'll get my rod. Ouch. Hit my eye. And but I'm going I'm looking at my mirror. That's what I'm looking up. Okay, so you start I start mine like this. I put it underneath. Okay. And then I start to just wrap it around like this. You see? I start to wrap it around like that okay and then I just bamp bamp there you go okay and then obviously always make sure that I'm gonna put some other twist and souffle on the end of this so it just will lay nicely okay see Okay, I'm going to be right back. I do not like how this lighting is looking. I'm going to be right back a little better. So now I get the next piece. Kia, I know you are taking notes, girl. I know you taking notes. She's been wanting me to do this style for the longest time. And I finally had the chance to do it. So, again, same thing. Twist and souffle. You want to make sure everything, you get everything from uh, root to tip with your hair, especially these ends. Especially for me, because I don't know about y'all, but I know for me, my tents, they, my ends, they tend to get a little dry. So, I'm just 
making sure that I have everything. And then, you know, I'm putting the leave-in conditioner in. Okay. And I know some people, for some people I know, including myself, um, who do flexi rod sets and it was a fail. Some of it could be the product that you're using. It's just not, you know, mixing well with your hair and then with the flexi rod. Sometimes um, your hair is not dry enough. And sometimes even, to be honest with you, you're probably just not doing it right. Some people put it all on one thing instead of separating it, separating it like this, like how I did. That's how I do my sets. So the curl can come out like that. So, okay, so you see, everything is moisturized and stuff. So let me put a little bit more of leave-in conditioner because um, I think conditioning your hair is very important. You know, you just comb through. You do not want a tangled flexi rod set. That's another thing. Okay, so out. So you get it like this. You see how it's underneath like this? You see? And then you just start to just wrap it around on down. Then bam. And I don't like my, um, it was not that I don't like it, but I kind of like my flexi rod set. I know some girls like the curves perfect, perfect, perfect. So when they take it out, it looks like, um, they got their hair relaxed and then they did them curls. I kind of like mine kind of wow with it because it shows more, uh, volume. So that's how I like mine, but you know, to each his own. So then, um, I'm just going to be doing the same routine throughout my whole head. So you get a section. I know some girls who only need like eight flexi rods for it to be successful. I like it to be a little bit more defined. I can actually use eight if I wanted to, but mm -mm. I wanted a little bit more defined and stuff. So I'm just going to be... Uh, Using a little bit more than that, so and also try to use smaller pieces too. If your flexi rod set wasn't a successful flexi rod set, maybe your pieces are just a little too big, probably use smaller ones. And I'm, it looks like I'm moisturizing my hair a little longer than normal. Like I said, I went to sleep and my hair has absolutely no product in it. It's very dry um, because I just washed it so it's no product and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I need to give my hair some life. So and you can split this into two. This is what I'm about to do. I'm going to split this into two. Because I feel like it's just a little, the piece is a little too big. Okay. So now I have my piece. Let me straighten this rod out. I have my piece. And you see? And you see how, look at my wrist. Look at the rotation of my wrist. Okay, and then what I'm about to do is vamp, vamp, see, see, nothing fancy, it's nothing too crazy, so 
when you take it out, it should be a successful flexi rod set. I know some people, like myself, in the beginning, see, I want y'all to look. See? Then. That's okay. Okay, so BAMP, move you, and BAMP. You see? So y'all kind of, I'm, I'm going to call this the twirling method as you, as I would. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm not going to start on this section, but I'm just going to Okay, what is going on here? Okay. It was starting to come out. <laughs> it was starting to get on my nerves. You stay like that. Okay, so now I'm almost done with this section. I only have this little piece to do right here. So what I'm about to do is get another section like this. I'm gonna just do the same thing. And I'm going to sit underneath the dryer when I'm done too. Probably for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. I probably don't have to do it for that long. But I really just want this curl, this curl set to this flexi rod set um to stay. That's the main reason why I'm going underneath that dryer. So I'm gonna need the dryer, I'm gonna read for class. <sighs> have cla Sorry, I have a piece of hair. Because I have class tomorrow, I have classes tomorrow morning. So for my first class, I just need to read. I love reading, so I'm just gonna read. And um, do what I have to do for that class and everything. Okay. Then you comb through and up. That's my chair you guys are hearing that ring ring noise. <laughs> so see, I put that section into two. So you see, I'm gonna get a piece. I know it's kind of repetitive, but I know a lot of women and men who be wanting to do flexi rod sets on my channel and they tell me that um, they're unsuccessful because it'll come out right. So, twirl it all around. And then, for it to stay, Put some more product on the end of it, and that is it. And then you just close it like that. See, now remember when I had, um. Just put it with this. There's just a little piece that's out, but that's okay. Remember when I split that into two? Same thing. Just wrap it all the way around. See? See? Okay. 
And I have this section to do. It's just two more pieces that needs to be done. So I'm just gonna do like that with that piece. It's a small piece, so like this. And then And feel free to rewind if you want to rewind and, you know, look again at how I did this and stuff like that. Feel free. Feel free. I will never know because I'm not watching it with you. <laughs> so, same thing. start right here I'm sorry and then uh oh that was my fault And then now uh, I got that small piece. And I know that this video is kind of lengthy because I know that a lot of people, you know, who want to learn how to do a flexi rod set. I don't know how to do perm rod set, so I, I will not do that. I do not know how to do it. Every time I do it, it comes out a bowl of hot ass mess. Excuse my language, but I don't. It just it just comes out just it's just disastrous. But the flexi rod sets are always successful for me. The perm rod sets, uh -uh. unless I go to a professional or something, maybe, but or someone who knows how to do a perm rod set because it never works out for me. I try to do a perm rod set on for a date when my fiance and I used to be long distance and long story short, I had to put my hair up in a freaking bun because the perm rod set was just a mess. It, it didn't even come out right. I was mad. I was upset. I in two way. Okay, so you see, my wrist just popped. Y'all heard that? That was my wrist. That section is finished. See? See? So now I'm going to start this side and then I'm going to be right back to show you all how I do the back now. So I'm just going to start on this side. It's going to be the same thing I did on this side. And I will be right back to show you all the back. So I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. So I'm back. So I finished the front. It's the same thing I did when y'all saw me do it so now we have to do the back i roll my eyes because sometimes uh, the back can be not challenging but it's just different because you can't you don't have eyes in the back of your head so i 
Same thing though. I got a piece. I don't do twist outs, not twist outs, oh my goodness. Flexi rod sets that frequently like I used to because I'm always doing uh, twist outs and stuff, but yeah. So this is what it looks like so far. And again, I call it the wrapping method. You're just twirling it around the flexi rod. And also, if y'all want to look at, um, rewind back to how I did it. Also, just look at how my wrist was. I was like flexing it around. So... You get the twist and souffle. Put that in. You gotta make sure that it's all throughout your hair. Okay, and now the leave-in conditioner. Okay, and then if I'm looking up, I'm looking up at my mirror, so it's an inaccurate flexi for me. You see? Then you get your flexi rod. And I purchased these from the hair store, to be honest with you. So you get it. And then you see, twist, not twist, you twirl it all the way. And then you get some more. So you don't want, you don't want your ends to unravel, so. That's why I do that. See? Now I'm going to show you another. It's kind of hard showing y'all the back, but it's the same as the front. It's the same as, it's the same routine as I was doing in the front. It's just in the back and it's just a little bit more annoying. So, um, again, oh. See, I needed to moisturize my hair. I, this is absolutely, this right here, no product. No product. That's why it looks all dry because it is dry. Because I said I washed my hair. And I conditioned and deep conditioned it. But. That's what's going on with that mess. So. Twist and souffle. Excuse me, that was a hiccup. I ate dinner. <laughs> so. And also, my ends are trimmed. That's another reason why it's just easier for me to... Do this style. I can never do that again. Sleep on shampooed hair. Knowing that it's dry. And just... Because now it's like a lot more like moisture... I have to put into my hair because of my silliness. So now what you do is see, 
now it has product all in it. So now what you do, same thing. You get it, you put it underneath, then you just start to do like this. Okay, get your twisting souffle or whatever you're using. I know when I was watching a tutorial, another uh, young lady, she was using the, I think it's TGIN. I know my close friend Kia uses that line and I heard that it's pretty good. I heard that it's, it's uh, a pretty good line. I'm just making sure that you know everything stays yep so see but you see how I want y'all to see how it's around this flexi like it's literally like this it's a cute style too for the winter because I know a lot of females including myself are trying to do different type of styles than they typically do with their hair because I feel like I'm doing the same style over and over with my hair so I just want to try something different so I got this piece so now this can get put away for a second while I work on this piece that's another thing try to section your hair if you're having unsuccess unsu I'm so tired unsuccessful Flexi rod sets. Try to put your hair in sections. I probably said it before, but seriously, it really helps. I even put my hair in sections when I do my uh, twist outs. It just reduces time. It's easier. Your your hair is just more defined. Your curls and stuff like that. So, it's just easier that way. So, again, this is the Miel's Twisting Souffle that I'm putting into my hair. And then the leave-in conditioner. You do not want a tangled flexi rod set. That's why I get everything. I know some people who use mousse for their flexi rod sets. I don't, but I've seen some really bomb flexi rod sets with uh, hair mousse. They'll use like a twisting product and then use hair mousse. Like one of the girls that I watch did a flexi rod set with the Miel, and then she used uh, hair mousse. Another young lady, she used another. She used a different product. Uh, she used um, what I used to use. Carol's Daughter. And then she used a lot of body mousse. And her Flexi Rod set actually came out really nice, to be honest with you. So again, same thing. You can also do like, yep. Let's see. For the back though, once you get used to it, you know, once you keep doing it, you get used to it, but I still, it's just a little, oh, to me. So, 
There we go. And then You get it, you put it underneath like this, let's do it like this, I don't like how that felt, okay, and then you slide it like this. Okay, see? And then bam, bam. See? So I'm just fixing that one. Okay. So. And this video is lengthy. It is lengthy. But. Um. See? And then Okay, so I'm going to be doing that throughout the whole back and I'm going to be right back to show you all the finished product. Alright, so I'm back. I did my whole head. See, have all the flexies in it. So what I'm going to do is sit underneath the dryer and I know after that I'm going to bed. <laughs> so I am going to be posting my results probably in a different video because I think that this one's a little too long. Um, but it's very detailed about how I did my flexi rod set. So what I'm going to do now is, like I said, sit underneath the dryer for like two hours. I probably don't even need to sit under there for that long because I most likely am going to be sleeping in with these so I can have a more defined curl. It's kind of different sleeping with flexies in your head though. I mean, it's, 
it's not that uncomfortable. They're not like perm bra sets where they're hard. They're a little softer. So, but it's still like, but, um, yeah. So let me go get underneath this dryer and then y'all will see my results in the next video. Thank you all so much. Have a great night or morning or whatever, whenever you're watching this video.